and welcome everyone to Dixon Stadium game two set to get underway of this doubleheader if you missed game one you missed a pitching duel and a thriller the Rattlers eventually walking that one off an 11 inning show Bryce Brandle the hero with the RBI single but now it's time to put that one behind us we still got another game to go it's going to be Chris Gardner on the rubber for the Rattlers Gardner a 3.26 ERA a 7-2 win-loss record and in 60 and two-thirds innings pitch he has 41 strikeouts as compared to 18 base on balls again it's going to be your St. Mary's Rattlers taking on the St. Edwards University Hilltoppers Rattlers coming into play in this one a 27 and 7 record 14 and 2 in the Heartland Conference St. Edwards now with a record of 27 and 9 they are 13 and 3 in the Heartland Conference. Big time seeding implications could be decided in this one. The Rattlers able to snag that first one. But now it'll be up to Gardner and the Rattlers see if they can do it again. But opposing them, it's going to be the St. Edwards University Hilltoppers, a very capable squad, ranked number 19 in the nation. St. Mary's in there at number 20. As now, Nate Turner will step to the mound. This game, it's going to be seven innings because the first game of the doubleheader went into extras. First pitch by Gardner. Turner showing bunt and a called strike number one. Your umpires today is going to be Victor Nelson on the bases and Roger Claycomb calling the balls and strikes behind the plate. Nate Turner on the year. He's hitting 279, one homer, 17 RBIs. Is that one in there as well? 0 and 2 already the quick count for Gardner. Gardner, another one of those big lefties that the Rattlers have. If you missed that first game, Matt McClain, he had quite the performance. Threw in that 130 pitch range, and he only allowed four hits in 10 innings worked. So very impressive outing out of him. One and two now the count here to Turner. As this one hit high into the air, shallow left field coming on is Marler, and he'll make the catch for out number one. These two teams eerily similar by their numbers, but if you look at them, you do see some differences here and there. A.J. Hermanson now stepping to the plate for the Hilltoppers. Hermanson, a 333 batting average, four homers, and 26 RBIs. Those four homers top this ball club. Bunt being shown, it's laid down. Gardner, he'll skewer it and throw to first. Two away very quickly for the Hilltoppers. Let's go ahead, meet this Hilltopper lineup now. Leading off, it was Nate Turner. He'll be playing center field. Batting second, A.J. Hermanson, the right fielder. Gabriel Whitaker, he's now at the plate. He'll be the designated hitter. And he'll be followed by the cleanup man, Joseph Olson, the catcher. Jonathan Arrowwood, he'll bat fifth and play first base. He'll be followed by Kevin Mayo, the second baseman. Wesley Harris will bat after him and play short. And then batting eighth will be Dave Dylan Watts, the third baseman. And then Cutter Runty, he'll be batting in that number nine spot. 0-1 the count here to Whitaker. It's the same lineup from the last game, except for they changed out their left fielder. Runty, though, he did come in and pinch hit and finish out that game for the Hilltoppers in the first one. It's the count now, 1-1 one one here to Whitaker. Whitaker, so far on the season, he has a 320 batting average, one homer, 23 RBIs. As this pitch, it's fouled into the air. It'll get out of play, and the count will be one and two now. Whitaker, he went 0 for 4 in the first game of this doubleheader. He did lay down a sacrifice bunt, though. So he'll be looking for a bet bounce back performance. I think all players can say they'll be looking for bounce back performances at the plate. But that just talks about the dominating pitching that both sides had. Sher Sherrod, he also had quite the game for the Hilltoppers. It is a shame neither him nor Hermson could go towards the decision, but again, just tells you about these two squads. 
The one, two. In the dirt. Try to get Whitaker to offer at it. This game, the second one out of the three game series. We're slated for another one tomorrow. That game will be getting underway at 2 o'clock, I do believe. And again, the winner of this series will have the Heartland Conference lead. That game will be getting underway at 1 o'clock tomorrow, I beg your pardon. 2-2. Two -two. This one hit high into the air. Maldonado called for it, but he'll be called off now by Jones, who loses his cap, but that'll do it for the inning. So a quick one, two, three inning of work for Gardner. We're going to go ahead and head to the bottom. No runs, no hits, none left on base. The Hilltoppers, none. The Rattlers, coming up. And welcome back, everyone. It's going to be Bryce Davis on the mound for the Hilltoppers. Yet another of a plethora of good arms we're going to be seeing in this series. Bryce Davis, a very good 1.75 ERA. He's 5-1 so far this year. He's appeared in 10 games, but he's only started three of them. So an interesting start here today. He's pitched 46 and a thirds inning, and in that time, he struck out 28 while walking seven. It's going to be Marler coming up first to the plate to face Davis. Sidearm thrower, and Marler, that first pitch, hit over towards second base. Mayo up with it, and one pitch, one out now for Davis. St. Mary's softball, they won their first game. That one by a score of 6-1. to one. Softball team number 7 in the nation currently. If you want to check out that game and also check out this one, you can pull it up on the Rattler Network too. One away. Here's A.J. Perez at the plate. First pitch catches the outside corner for a call strike number 1. AJ Perez, he hit 325. He's hitting 325 on the year, 16 RBIs, 10 extra base hits. Davis, he works exclusively from that set. And that was very deceptive right there. A good change of pace, and Perez bit on it and was way out in front of it. Davis, he comes set. Outfield is once again shifted very heavily for AJ. That shortstop over there, uh, Hamilt uh, Harris, he's maybe a step or two away from being behind that second base bag. Leaves that shortstop spot very vacated. That one shot over towards the first baseman, and Arrowwood, he'll flip it to Davis for out number two of the inning. Let's go ahead and meet this Rattler starting lineup. Jacob Marler, he, he led off and he'll be playing left field. A.J. Perez, bat after him and playing center. 
Derek Hamilton, the shortstop, he's coming to the plate. He'll be batting in that number three spot, and he'll be followed by Matt Smith, the third baseman. Scott Jones will bat fifth and play right field, and Mario Maldonado, the second baseman, will follow after him. And then Bryce Brandle, he'll be the designated hitter, and batting in that number seven spot, he'll be followed by Keith Funk, the catcher, and Joe Hermson will follow after him and play first base. Two away. Hamilton, he hits this one hard on a line, and it's going to get past the center fielder, Turner. Hamilton now can turn for extra bases. It looks like he'll be staying put for two as he'll take the extra bag off of the missed play. Turner trying for a diving effort there. Third baseman, Matt Smith. Looks like they're going to score that one a double all the way. I don't think Turner got a piece of it. But now Matt Smith will come to the plate. I'm just doing my job all the way. I'm wrong all the time. First pitch to Smith. This one hit towards right center field high into the air, but it's going to be caught by Hermanson, and that'll do it for the inning. Smith put a charge into it, but nothing doing there. No runs, one hit, one left on base, zero is still on the board. It's becoming a common theme here on the Rattler Network. And welcome back, Rowler fans. Top of the second, set to get underway. Olsen, Arrowwood, Mayo, all will see the plate here today. Or in this inning, I should say. As that first pitch, a bit high and out of the zone. 1-0 here to Olsen. Olsen coming into play today. A 368 batting average, a couple of homers, and 23 RBIs. As that one just missing the zone. 2-0 now. That one shot foul out of play, two and one now. Very quick, some keys to the game for the Rattler side of things. I think it's uh, Chris Gardner. He has to have a good start here. The Rattlers, they already had to expend some of their bullpen in the first game of this doubleheader, so I think Gardner needs a quality start. It is a seven inning game. As this one hit high into the air by Olsen into foul territory. It'll get into the Rattlers lockout locker room area and we'll move the at bat to two and two now on the count and then for the St. Ed side of things I think their key to the game is to capitalize on opportunities uh, they had a few times with runners in scoring position so did the Rattlers but neither team able to cash in quite yet and I think they could also have the same goal of the game with Davis on the rubber they did have to use Hatch, one of their better closers. Count will now run full as Gardner misses with that one. Yeah. 
Olsen in the first game of this doubleheader went 0 for 4. He was hit by a pitch. Swing and a miss right there as he'll go down on strikes. One away as Gardner will record his first K of the day. First baseman, J.D. Arrowwood. And now here comes J.D. Arrowwood to the plate. Arrowwood, he's top on this Hilltopper squad, a 400 batting average. Two homers, 27 RBIs as well. Those 27 RBIs also top on this Hilltopper team. It's that first pitch, inside corner called strike one. It is a brisk day, a nice breeze blowing from left to right across the field. It's a very nice day to play baseball. It's that one shot over to third. Hermson, he'll take it himself, and that'll be out number two. Now here comes Mayo to the plate. Second baseman, Kevin Mayo. Kevin Mayo hit 315 on the year so far. One homer, 25 RBIs. He has 55 total bases, which is fourth best on this team. That means if he gets aboard, he usually is able to move himself on over. Good base runner. Gardner, he'll start him off with a strike one outside corner. Ooh, good off-speed stuff right there. Mayo, he was way ahead of it. Both pitchers today, they've displayed a very nice change of pace so far. Here's the 0-2. And he got him looking. Two Hilltoppers go down in strikes on the top of two. Gardner, he's been looking sharp here on the Rattler Network. And welcome back, Rattler fans. Bottom of the second, set to get underway. It's going to be Jones, Maldonado, and Brandel do up this inning for the Rattlers. Go ahead, though. Take this time. Meet the St. Edwards defensive alignment from left to right across the outfield. Runty, Turner, and Hermanson. As this one hit in the air, will it fall? Yes, it will. Jones, a big turn at first, but the soft single will lead off the inning for the Rattlers. They're being very aggressive, swinging very early in the counts. The rest of the St. Edwards defensive alignment, Watts, Harris, Mayo, and Arrowwood from left to right around the horn. And then you have Olsen behind the plate, and he'll be doing the catching duties. So leadoff man aboard, Mario Maldonado at the plate. Mario, he's hitting 250 so far on the year, 23 RBIs. Jones, he does have good speed over there at first. And I have noticed the Rattlers doing a lot of hit and runs recently, but Mario instead, he'll square around for the bunt, and this one, a beauty. Mario, he'll be tagged out, but the sacrifice does its job, and the Rattlers now with a man in scoring position. Designated hitter, Bryce Brando. 
Now here comes Brandle to the plate. Brandle on the year hitting 310, four homers and 15 RBIs. Make it 16 with his walk-off single he had in the last ball game. That first one fouled back 0-1. And, and games like the first one of this series are really uh, what you call confidence games. Something that you can draw on later on in the year. Build a little bit of character. And then on the St. Edwards side of things, that's also rings true. They can also draw on that one and gain experience from it as well. Again, bunt being shown. Brandle lays it down. The catcher will handle it. Olsen, and that'll be out number two. So an interesting decision by the Rattlers. Back-to-back -back sacrifice bunts, but it does move Jones all the way over to third base now and it'll be up to Keith Funk at the plate to bring him on in. Catcher Keith Funk. <laughs> First pitch in there to Keith, a called strike number one. Keith so far on the year, he's hitting 277, eight RBIs. He started the last game, but eventually he is pinch hit for, so Schwartner ended it. But Keith back in there now. This one hit over to Short, Harris with it. The throw is in time, and that'll do it for the inning. So no runs on one hit, one left on base. St. Mary's not able to capitalize on the leadoff single. We're still tied at zero here on the Rattler Network. Top of the third, set to get underway. Rattler fans like to take this time to remind you, interact with us on social media. Check us out on Twitter, our handle, at St. Mary's Rattlers, and also on Instagram, the same handle, at St. Mary's Rattlers. You can also give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers, and also you can subscribe to us, youtube.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers. And for everything you could want to know about your Rattlers, write-ups of the games, pictures, statistics, their schedules, and maybe even a record here or there, you can be sure to check out RattlerAthletics.com. It's going to be Harris Watts and Runty do up this inning for the Hilltoppers. That one smoked up the middle as Harris, he'll be aboard with the leadoff single. St. Mary's, they had a leadoff single of their own in the last half inning. Weren't able to capitalize on it, but we'll see what the Hilltoppers are able to do here. Also be sure you put on two screens, pull up two windows. You can check out St. Mary Softball, the number seven team in the nation. They're taking on the University of Texas Permian Base and it's neon night over there, so should be a lot of fun. They took the first game of that doubleheader six to one and just now getting underway in the second ball game. First pitch to watch. So to Watt <laughs> is a college strike number one. Watt so far on the year. 
He's hitting 148. He has four RBIs as well on the year. He's played in 23 games, starting 19 of them. You can see Matt Smith playing very shallow on that grass, just in case the bunt's on. Bunt is on, but what? He puts it off the home plate and out of the reach of Funk and into foul territory. 0-2 now the count. We'll see if they still commit to the bunt with Watts here. Gardner kicks, steals. Well outside. Seeing if he would offer at it. He does not. One and two. Harris, he's two of two on stolen bags so far this year. Ooh, that one caught the outside corner, and Gardner is rolling early on. Three strikeouts already to his name. And now here comes Runte to the plate. Runte hitting 203 so far on the season, one homer, 12 RBIs. Check on over, but nothing doing over there. Runte was a Heartland Conference All-Tournament teamer. That was last year in 2014. And then in 2013, he was a second team All-Heartland Conference player as well. Is that pitch low and in the dirt? Want to know? Reason why I bring it up even though I'm sure there are, well, there are several Heartland Conference first teamers and honorable mention second teamers all over. Runte, he is a, the number nine hitter for the Hilltopper, so it just tells you about how potent both of these teams are. One and one the count. Runte, he'll dig back in. The middle infielders for the Rattlers, they're playing a couple steps over towards that second base bag, looking for the double play ball. <clears throat> that did nip the outside corner for a called strike number two. Gardner, he seems to be on his locations here early and often. Nate Turner is waiting on deck. One, two. A bit high. Now it's two and two. Garner looking in long and hard. Come set. The two, two. <coughs> Just missing. And the count has now run full as Runte has found his way back into this at bat. Three, two, and ball four is drawn. That one just barely missing by, what could have been about an inch. But now it'll be Nate Turner with two Hilltoppers aboard. Turner, he popped out to left field his first time up. Gardner coming set, check to second. That one missing just inside. Gardner, even when he's missing, it's just barely. This one shot hard just over the glove of Smith. 
Hit is into left. They're going to hold up the runner. And scurrying back to second base is Runte. He almost wandered a little bit too far away from the bag. But the Hilltoppers paying respect to the arm of Marler. And now it'll be up to Hermanson with the bases full of toppers. Hermanson, he grounded out to the pitcher, Gardner, last time up. Now the Hilltoppers with a very good opportunity here to strike first in the second game of this doubleheader. Time's called. Still only one away. Double play ball could be in effect here. This one hit hard on the screws and it's going to fall in front of Marler. One run will score. They'll hold up the second as the toppers get on the board for the first time today. The bats starting to come to life after they were silenced in the first game. And now it'll be Whitaker at the plate. He popped out to right his last time up. The Hilltoppers being very conservative on the base pass, but that is due in part to the fact that they have the better part of their batting order coming up. Whitaker, one of their leading RBI men. He does have 23 RBIs on the season. Coach Ermis asking for time. It'll be granted to him. Coaching staff's here today. The head coach, Charlie Meagle, Chris Ernest, Ermis, he's the pitching coach. And then Ryan Femeth, he's the assistant baseball coach as well. On the other side of things, Rob Penders, he's the skipper for the Hilltoppers. David Wood, he's the assistant coach. Jonathan Burns is the pitching coach. And then Kevin Luson is the volunteer assistant. So the conference is over. We're ready to get back to it. The bases are still full of hilltoppers. First offering, just out of the zone. Whitaker, he'll dig back in. Again, that back foot being put on the back line of the batter's box. This one hit hard, but foul. Just narrowly missing the line. It was scary, but it'll just be a long strike. One and one now the count. Gardner taking his time. Here's the one one. This one hit high and deep into left field, going back and gone. Whitaker will clear the bases with a grand slam home run. And just like that, the scoreboard is in favor 5-0 for the toppers. That one was given a ride, the second homer of the year for Whitaker, his 29th RBI. Catcher Joseph Olson. And now here comes Joseph Olson to the plate. Olson, he struck out his first time up. First pitch called strike one. You see the conservative base running paying off right there for the Hilltoppers. 
Second pitch out of the zone, one and one. I mean, it was only a matter of time. Some very good bats in this series. That one shot towards Smith. He goes down in, to a knee to corral it. And there is out number two. First baseman, J.D. Arrowwood. So now here comes Arrowwood to the plate. He grounded out to first his first time on up. Hilltopper striking big here in the top of the third. First pitch from Gardner called strike number one. Strike number two, Gardner trying to get his mojo back. The 0-2. And he got him looking. That'll do it for the inning, but some damage was done. Five runs scored off of four hits, including a grand slam homer by Whitaker. The Hilltoppers up early, five to nothing here on the Rattler Network. And welcome back, Rattler fans. Bottom of the third, set to get underway. It's going to be the 9, 1, and 2 hitters due up this inning. Joe Hermson, Marler, and Perez. Hilltoppers, they put up a five spot there in the top of three. It'll be up to the Rattlers to battle back, but there is still plenty of baseball left to be played. Hermson, so far in the year, hitting 167 with four RBIs. That pitch off speed, a good curve to it, but it will now be one and one. Herbson, he had a good game. He went one for three in the first game of this doubleheader. That one, though, shot off towards second. Mayo with it, and Herbson will be retired for out number one. Left fielder Jake Marler. Now here comes Jake Marler to the plate. Marler, he grounded out to second his first time on up. Davis, the side armor, still out there and working for the Hilltoppers. First pitch, a little bit outside, and it looked like it was low as well. 1-0 oh now. And make it two balls now. Marler in that leadoff roll today. If you're wondering where Brooks Orton is, he's out with an illness for today. Not sure on his status for tomorrow, but could be available. 
As that one caught the inside corner, two and one now. In fact, I think Brooks might be down there, ready to pinch hit if the situation calls for it. Count now, two and two. That one hit hard, but over to short, and that actually ends up dying down a little bit. Mayo, he'll make the play, and now two away. Here comes A.J. Perez now to the plate. A.J., he grounded out to first his first time on up. They've been shifting him strongly all game long. They probably would shift the third baseman as well, but the thing is, Perez is speedy, so he could always just lay down a bunt down that third baseline. First pitch outside, 1-0. Oh. Davis comes set. Make it 2-0. So for the second count in a row, Davis has fallen behind 2-0, but he was able to battle back last time against Marler. Let's see if Perez can get a different result. This one fouled off, and the count now 2-1. Again, these two teams neck and neck in the Heartland Conference. St. Mary's with that victory in that first game. Pick up the one game edge. This one hit over hard towards second and underneath the mitt of Mayo and Perez. He'll have the two out single. Shortstop, Derek Hamilton. It's now Hamilton coming to the plate. Derek, he doubled his first time on up. Rattler's trying for a little two-out rally here. Smith waits on deck. First pitch, out of the zone, one and oh. Davis, pickoff throw, but Perez, he'll dive back safely with plenty of time to spare. Just pay respect to AJ Speed on down there. This one hit high into the air. Making the call for it is Harris, and that'll do it for the inning. So no runs on one hit, one left on base. Rattlers trailing this one five to nothing as we head to the bot to the top of the fourth.
and welcome back everyone. Mayo Harris Watts do up this inning for the Hilltoppers. First pitch swinging for Mayo. This one shot towards shallow right field. Coming on in making the catch will be Scott Jones. So one pitch, one out here for Gardner. Shortstop, Wesley Harris. Now here comes Wesley Harris. He singled his first time up. That was to lead off just last inning. Came around, scored a run as well. In fact, every Hilltopper saw the plate that half inning, except for Mayo. First pitch out of the zone, 1-0. Gardner working quickly, and this one hit high into the air. Mario makes the call and the snag, and it will now be two away. Third baseman, Dylan Watts. Oh, now here comes Dylan Watts to the plate. Watts, he struck out looking his last time up. Gardner has his sign and that one just missing, one and up. One oh. This one hit into the air and back to the right of our box. And the count will now be one and one. Watts he'll dig back in. And another one fouled back and the count now one and two. Thank you. My apologies. The one, two. And a couple of rattlers started towards the dugout. They thought, uh, they thought the inning was done, but instead it'll be two and two. Gardner winds and deals. That one shot into left, a liner. As Watts went golfing for that one, but a sharp single. Left fielder, Cutter Runte. So now here comes Cutter Runte to the plate. Runte, he drew a walk the last time he was up. Came around, scored a run as well. And now with a man aboard in front of him. See what the toppers do. That one, another single. So back-to-back -back pitches are deposited into opposite parts of the outfield. And now it'll be the top of the order coming up. Turner to the plate. He had a single his first time up. Came around, scored a run as well. Turner, one for two so far on the day. Is that first pitch, a call, strike number one. Gardner, quick check to second. That one, another single. They're going to wave the runner on home. Watts, he'll score without a throw. Sliding, well, standing into second will be Turner with the one RBI double. Good little two-out rally here for the Hilltoppers. Right fielder, AJ Hermanson. So it'll be two runners in scoring position with Hermanson at the plate. Still two away.
Gardner, he'll step off. Hermanson also. First pitch off speed. Good stuff there. Oh, one the count. And that one just missing. One and one now. Gardner just trying to find his way through here. And another one out of the zone. Two and one. The two one. Fouled off. Now two and two. Gardner now with a chance to go ahead and put this inning away. Taking his time, looking in. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Fastball just a little bit low. Counts now run full. It's narrowly missing on that one. Payoff pitch, swung on and missed, and that will do it for the inning. But not before the Hilltopper is able to put up one more run on three more hits. They strand two on base. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth, the Rattlers, with some work to do here on the Rattler Network. And welcome back, Rattler fans. It's going to be Matt Smith leading things off here for the Rattlers. He'll be followed by Jones and then Maldonado. The four, five, six hitters do up this inning. For St. Mary's, this is a good part of the order. Go ahead, start on that comeback trail. They are down six to nothing, and we are only play slated for seven innings in this second ball game. So St. Mary's, they're uh, starting to get to that point where they need to put things together just a bit. That pitch to Smith out of the zone and he finds himself ahead 3-0 and now. And that one inside as well. So the leadoff man is aboard now for St. Mary's. Right fielder Scott Jones now here comes Scott Jones to the plate. It's 
Scott. He singled his first time on up. Davis, he's put up a nice outing so far today. It's that first pitch out of the zone, 1-0. Now you see Olsen coming on out. He'll talk to his pitcher. Kind of settle him down here. He did just issue a walk and throw a first pitch ball. Quick glance to first by Davis. That pitch well inside, 2-0. Make it 3-0, pick off throw. Nothing doing right there. That was, that was a strike. Beg your pardon, it was a strike, two and one. Pick off throw, but Smith Hill head on back safely, standing up. Two one. Make it two and two. It was in tight on Jones, but just barely came back and got the plate. And they'll check again over on Smith, but nothing doing. The 2-2. Jones, he waited on that one. Hits it high into the air towards left center field. It's going to get down. Extra bases, surely. They're going to hold up the runner at third. So it'll be two men in scoring position with none away for the Rattlers. Second baseman, Mario Maldonado. Good job there by Jones of being able to adjust to the changeup. And now here comes Mario Maldonado to the plate. He has sacrificed bunt the last time he was up. First pitch to Mario. Called strike number one. The Hilltoppers, they paid Mario a lot of respect in the first game of this doubleheader. In fact, they intentionally walked him twice. But with a 6-0 lead, they feel comfortable going at him here. Plus, it doesn't really make sense to put him aboard. 1-1. Brandel waits on deck. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one shot up the middle. Rattler runners out of position here. Coming home now the slide. Safe. Smith just barely beat it out. He got caught in awkward position as Jones had committed fully to going to third. But it all works out just fine as the Rattlers on the board now with one away. Designated hitter, Bryce Brandle. Now here comes Bryce Brandle to the plate. The plate, it wasn't quite blocked properly as Smith was able to just barely sneak his foot in. And again, for about the third or fourth time today, a conversation going on between the skipper Penders and an umpire. And now here comes Brandle to the plate. He delivered an RBI single, the only RBI of the game, yes, last game. That one finishing 1 0. Now he'll be asked to do something similar here with Keith Funk waiting on deck. 
Again, the Hilltoppers shifted over heavily for this left-handed batter. Scott Jones over at third. He does have good speed. So a sacrifice fly would work just fine for St. Mary's in this situation. Want to know? This one hit into the gap. It's gonna be it's gonna be a RBI single for Brandel. A big turn right there. The ball does get away, but Bryce Hill stay put as the Rattlers now put in a two spot on the board. Looks like they're not done yet. Still a long way to go, but it is looking a little bit better than it was about an inning ago. Keith Funk will be up next, but first Burns coming out. He'll be having a talk with his infield and pitching staff. Rattler fans, take this time to remind you, be sure to check out RattlerGear.com. The seasons are changing, but your style doesn't have to. Still, sport that gold and blue. Right now, there's a 10% off discount off of Selective Sports Gear, so be sure to head on over, check that out. Again, the web address, RattlerGear.com. Keith Funk at the plate. He grounded out to short his first time up. First pitch called strike one. Sid got the corner. Still a good opportunity here for the Rattlers. So that one was inside. That's one of those weird situations. The first pitch, it ended up in the mitt so that it didn't look like a strike. And the second one, it ended up in the mitt so it did. But it's about, again, where the ball crosses the plate. That one swung on and missed. And no argument there. One and two now the count. <laughs> Joe Hermson waits on deck for the Rattlers. This one hit over towards short. Could be two, and it is. So that'll do it for the inning, but not before St. Mary's strike for two of their own. That'll do it for the fourth. We'll head to the fifth here on the Rattler Network. Top of the fifth set to get underway. It's going to be Whitaker, Olsen, and Arrowwood do up this inning. The heart of the order for this Hilltopper team. First pitch, well outside, 1-0. Whitaker 
Well, he has the big swing of the day. He's one for two, had that grand slam home run back in the third. That puts us at the difference we're at right now. This one grounded over towards second, Maldonado up with it. And that'll be out number one. Catcher Joseph Olson. Now here comes Olson to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. He's struck out and grounded out to third. Ball's being changed out there. Apparently they didn't like that one. Gardner winds up and deals. Inside there, one and oh. The one oh. Hit into the air, but foul. And they'll even up things at one and one now. Softball also in action today. They won their first game and now in the top of the third in their second game. They currently lead that one four to nothing. That's over on the Rattler Network too. Called strike right there and Gardner now ahead one and two in the count. That one, it's gonna fall in for a one out single as Olsen has his first hit of the ball game. Arrowwood first will be due be up next. Arrowwood. Arrowwood, he's 0 for 2 today. Ground out and strike out. Gardner kicks and deals. Big cut and a miss. Good off-speed stuff there. Lights are on. We'll be playing underneath them. First game went a little longer than anticipated. For some reference, the first game started with the sounding of the bells at 3 o'clock and ended with the same bells ringing at 6. 101 count. <coughs> that one hit towards right field. Jones comes up with it, but takes it on a bounce. So it'll be a single for Arrowwood. And now two Hilltoppers aboard. Second baseman, Kevin Nail. Mayo now making his way to the plate. He's 0 for 2 on the day. He's struck out and flied out to right. First pitch outside, 1 0. And this one hit into the air, but foul down that right field side. A lot of excitement in the air on campus. We are exactly one week away from Fiesta Oyster Bake. A lot of students excited about that, of course. Baby Bake was a big success, but Oyster Bake, it just involves the entire community of San Antonio, so I'm sure it'll be a good time. One and one. This one hit high into the air towards left 
field. Marler will go over. He'll make the catch. The runners are tagging up. The throw is into second, onto first, and sliding back safely was Arrowwood. However, Olsen was able to tag up and take third. It was a good effort to try to get Arrowwood out there. Also, a good job there by Hermson of blocking the bag at first base. But now it'll be runners at the corners for the Hilltoppers. Harris now up. He's one for two on the day. Scored a run as well. First pitch well inside. One and oh. Delivery, also out of the zone, 2-0. Harris, he actually started off the rally for the Hilltoppers there in the third inning. Managed to tack on those five runs. The 2-0. Make it 3-0 now. Watts is on deck for the Hilltoppers. Should he get an opportunity? That pitch called strike one. Harris, a patient approach at the plate. I believe he was taking the whole way there. This one chopped over to third. Smith up with it, gobbles it into his gut. And that'll do it for the inning. So no run scored, two hits allowed, and two left on base. That's going to do it for the top of the fifth. We head to the bottom here on the Rattler Network. Bottom of the fifth set to get underway. It's going to be Joe Hermson leading things off, followed by Marler and then Perez. The 9 1 and 2 hitters do up this inning. First pitch dialed in there for a call strike number one to Joe. Hermson, he grounded out to second his first time up. Is that pitch inside? 1 and 1 now. Side armor still in there, but Joe takes that one, a hard shot into left field. And for the second inning in a row, the Rattlers with their leadoff man aboard. Left fielder, Jake Marler. 
Now here comes Marler to the plate. Two times he's been up and two times he's grounded out to second. That pitch out of the zone, 1-0 to Marler now. And that one fouled off and even things up at one and one now. <laughs> Davis comes set in the delivery well outside. Count now two and one. As a sidearm pitcher, sometimes delivering a pitch to the same corner that your arm is on can be a little bit difficult. Saw it on that one right there. This one shot over towards short. Harris bobbles it and he'll eat it. So it'll be an air on Harris, but two men aboard now for the Rattlers. And Perez coming to the plate. So again, the Rattlers creating some opportunities right here. That air by Harris, the first that we've seen out of either side here today. Perez, he'll now dig in. With two men aboard and none out, a bunt could very much be in the play here for AJ. Hilltoppers, they're expecting it. Their corner infielders playing in. Bunt is shown, and AJ not able to get it down. It'll roll foul. In games against ranked opponents like these, the execution of small things like laying down a bunt is a big deal. AJ, though, he has another crack at it, I'm sure. AJ showing bunt the whole way. He'll pull that one back. It's out of the zone, 1-1. One one. Now we did see AJ on Tuesday show that bunt, but pull it back for a single. And if Hilltoppers players are cheating in as much as they are like Arrowwood at first, he could do something similar. The 1-1, one -one. he's doing it. And he manages to smoke it. That one looks like it could be extra bases. It's gonna be one run for sure. The throw is coming in. And again, Perez, that's a difficult feat to pull off to show the bunt and then to swing away and hit it. But Perez just smokes a RBI double into the corner. And now here comes Derek Hamilton to the plate. Derek one for two. He doubled his first time up and then popped out to short. Rattler's really great opportunity here. Still none out. First pitch called strike one on that inside corner. I'd say that one tad bit disagreed with. Another inside corner. This one hit high and deep. Left field going back and making the catch into the fence was Runty. It'll be a long sacrifice fly for Hamilton, but it was just inches away from being a tied ball game. Hamilton barely missed out on that one. Now here comes Matt Smith to the plate. Smith, 0 for 1. He drew a walk last time up, came around, scored a run. He also popped out to right. Still one away, so another sack fly would be nice here for the Rattlers. 
It's that first pitch. Caught the outside corner. Called strike one. This one, high chopper. Runner will try to score and will. It is an out for Smith, but just like that, we have ourselves a one-run ball game. Good heads up base running there by Perez. And now Scott Jones will be coming to the plate. Scott Jones, he's having himself quite the game. Two for two, a single and a double. First pitch out of the zone, one to know. You see these two teams really starting to rise to the occasion against one another. The first time it was the pitchers doing it. Second time the bats coming out loud. That one fouled back by Jones, one and one now. Mario Maldonado waits on deck. That one, ooh, sunk on Jones. One and two now. And Jones, that one hit the dirt, but the drop third strike is completed. And that'll do it for the inning, but not before the Rattlers able to put up two runs on two hits, one air committed. We're back in the ball game, five to six, the Rattlers trail here on the Rattler Network. Top of the six about to get underway. It's going to be Watts, Runty, and then Turner do up the inning for the Hilltoppers. It's that first pitch out of the zone, 1 and 0. Gardner narrowly missing. This was a game once led 6 to nothing by the Hilltoppers, but the Rattlers have come back to score five runs unanswered runs of their own that one watch just swung right through it one and one now Watts so far today he's one for two had a single and came around and scored a run it's the one one dealt in there narrowly missing two and one now you can hear the crowd starting to get more and more into this one Swung on, missed. Two and two now. Here's Gardner. This one hit high into the night sky. Perez underneath it. And he'll make the snag. One away. 
Left fielder, Cutter Runte. Runte now at the plate. He's one for one on the day. He's also drawn a walk, scored a run. So he's had a nice day so far. Also played well in the first game of this doubleheader. Quick reminder, this is a three-game series, so at 1 o'clock tomorrow we'll be getting underway with a third one. Be sure to check us out, rattlerathletics.com slash live. First one in there called strike one. That pitch, narrowly missing that outside corner, one and one. Garner, he'll wind up and deal. Fouled off. One and two now. Quick checkup on Gardner. He's now thrown 85 pitches today, allowed nine hits. He's walked one, struck out five, and all six runs that he surrendered have been earned. But that being said, I think with the bats that the Rattlers have been coming to the plate with, he feels pretty decent right now. This one flipped to Gardner. Will he beat him to the bag? He does. There's a collision down there, but looks like everyone's just fine as that will be out number two of the inning. Center fielder, Nate Turner. Now here comes Nate Turner to the plate. Turner, he's two for three on the day. Those type of collisions don't usually happen, but with a fast base runner like Ronte up, sometimes what happens is the pitcher has to take that more direct route which can cause the collision. In a perfect world, they'd be able to run to a certain spot and then run parallel with the runner, but that wasn't the situation. This one hit hard, but going back and making the snag will be Marler, and Turner is retired. A one, two, three inning there for Gardner. That'll do it for the top of the six. We'll head to the bottom. Rattler Bats still with some work to do. And welcome back, Rattler fans. It's going to be a new pitcher on the mound now for the Hilltoppers. Benny White Knight will be towing the rubber now for the Hilltoppers, as that'll put an end to the day for Bryce Davis. First pitch fouled back by Maldonado. 0-1 oh the count. It's going to be Maldonado, Brandel, and Funk do up this inning. Vinny White Knight, he has a 2.76 ERA, 2-0 on the year in win and loss. 
He's appeared in 11 games, all of them in relief. So another good bullpen arm. He also has one save on the year. And in 16 and a third innings pitch, he has 14 strikeouts as compared to 11 base on balls. So a decent percentage right there. The 1-1. Mario swung right through it. As the count will now be 1-2. and two. Couple of rough innings there for Davis in the past couple, so... Hilltoppers deciding now was the time to make the change. Mario hits that one hard, but it'll hook foul. He did give it a nice ride there, but we'll just do one and two yet again. Mario 0 for 1 on the day. He has a sack bunt to his name. Also grounded out to the pitcher. White Knight, another pitcher who likes to dangle his arm. Seems like there's a couple of them. St. Ed's bullpen. That one shot hard. It'll hit off the cut of the grass. And Mario makes it three innings in a row where the Rattlers have had their leadoff man aboard. So now here comes Bryce Brandle to the plate. One for one on the day. Singled his last time up, also had a sacrifice bunt. Starting to feel like a game that could be quite a doozy. Maldonado, a good base runner over there at first. Doesn't typically try to take bags though. Brandel showing bunt, he'll pull it back as the pitch was out of the zone, 1-0. Vinny White Knight, member of the Dean's List in spring 2014 and also the Heartland Conference Commissioner's Honor Roll. But now he'll be pitching some important innings. The 1-0 to Brandle. Lays the bunt down and it goes foul. The touch will be applied by Olsen and the count now squared up at one and one. Brandle though still a chance to execute the bunt right here. If he does get it down successfully it will be Keith Funk batting with the runner in scoring position. And the throw over to first to check on Maldonado. He's back in standing. White Knight comes set. The 1-1. Brandel, oh, he popped it up. Will it get down? It will, thankfully. But into foul territory it goes. The count will now be 1-2. and two. If you're a Rattler fan, that's the last thing you want to see. One of those popped up in the air. One and two the count. And they'll check on over on Mario yet again. Nothing to it. White Knight comes set. And again, he'll go ahead and check on over to first. Some high pressure situations up here. Again, we're only playing seven innings because that first game went past that seven inning mark. Or we're only scheduled for seven innings, I should say. Again, check up throw, and again, Mario back in there safely. It's been three straight check up throws on over to first. One, two, this one hit into the air, 
but it'll get into foul territory up into the second deck of seats. So we'll do one and two yet again. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Night White comes set. The one, two. Bounced in. Two and two now. Good job there by Olsen of blocking that one. Tough job to do back there. Randall, he did have that big hit. That was in the first game of the doubleheader. And he'll spoil another. So that's two now that Brandel has fouled off to stay alive. You can hear the crowd starting to get behind him just a bit. Bryce taking his time. He'll dig back in. Here's White Knight. This one hit into the air. Left center field. It'll fall. Turning for third is Mario. The ball is bobbled. Brandel, he'll head into second, and he'll stand there. A, a single for Brandel, and the runners will move up on the air. The Rattlers in very nice position now as the Hilltoppers have now committed two errors on the game. Here comes Keith Funk to the plate. And again, none out. So a good situation here for the Rattlers. Keith, he doesn't have to do too much here. He has good base runners aboard. And he also has the option. He can go ahead, sack fly. Even a slow roller would possibly plate Maldonado. Rattler fans, take this time to remind you. Interact with us on social media. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at St. Mary's Rattlers. You can also follow us on Instagram, that same handle, at St. Mary's Rattlers. You can also check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers and youtube.com slash St. Mary's Rattlers. It's going to be a pitching change. White Knight, his day is done. A very short leash here for the Hilltoppers in an all-important game. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we return here on the Rattler Network. Dan Becks is going to be the new man on the rubber for the Hilltoppers. A 1.74 ERA so far on the year. A 2-0 win-loss record. He's appeared in nine games so far this year and pitched in ten and a third's innings. Ten strikeouts and seven base on balls. So Becks, another capable arm coming out of this bullpen. Seems like just about everyone pitching today is a capable arm because, well, simply put, they are. These are two of the best teams in the South Central region. No, that, e that even passed the Heartland Conference. Funk, none out. 
Two runners in scoring positions. The Rattlers trailing by one. Just a quick recap. First pitch a bit high inside. All right, one and out of the count. Funk again, he doesn't have to do too much here. There are several ways to plate one or both Rattlers. Bex, the 1-0. This one hit into the air, but it won't escape the infield. The catch is made by Arrowwood, and Funk is retired. So it'll be up to Joe Herbson now. Joe, he's one for two today. He singled back in the fifth, came around and scored a run. He's been helping himself a nice day. He also had a double in the first game of this doubleheader. And now Joe putting in an important at-bat here in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch inside, 1-0. Marler waits on deck for the Rattlers. Here's the 1 0. Make it 2 0. Oh, 1 and 1. Beg your pardon. That one caught the inside corner. Bex, he has a very good arm. Some good stuff. 1 and 1 the count. Bex, he'll step off, step back on. Mario leads from third. Bryce leads from second. Bex comes set. The 1-1. One, one. Make it 1-2 and two now. It's been heat, heat, heat so far in this at-bat to Joe. It's been some nice velocity velocity out of Beck so far. The one two. Yeah. That one shot up the middle. There's your score one. Being waved around. No, they're going to hold him up. So Mario will cross the plate. The game is tied. Hermson coming through big. RBI single, and it'll be runners at the corners. They thought about waving Brandle around, but instead they're going to put it to the top of the order and Marler. Marler, he's 0 for 3 today so far. Although he did reach on an air and come around and score a run, that was in the fifth. Jake Marler. Again, Marler doesn't have to do too much. Sack fly would work just fine. Runners on the corners. That one shot over to second. Could be a double play ball. It's bobbled. The throw to first will get Marler, but the Rattlers have taken the lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. That bobble could have costed the Hilltoppers the double play ball. Two away, A.J. Perez at the plate. Still a runner in scoring position. This Rattler team was down six to nothing. And they've battled back to score seven unanswered. First pitch, a bit low, one and oh. Hamilton waits on deck. The 1-0 to Perez. That one popped into the air. Make it 1-1. One one. Hermson leads from second. A 1-1. One, one. Bounces in the dirt, but Hermson, he's going to stay put. 2-1 and one now. Again, good job there by Olsen. <clears throat> P 
Perez, he'll dig back in. Couple arms warming in that Rattler bullpen. The 2 1. That one shot back, foul. And things are now squared away at two apiece. Perez, he's been hot today. He's two for three, a single and a double. A run scored and an RBI as well. He's all over the stat sheet. Calls time. And now Bex, he decides he wants to talk it over. Didn't quite have the sign that he wanted from Olsen. I think more worried about location more so than anything else. Seems like it's been pretty much just heat from Beck so far. 2-2 two -two to Perez, two away. That one, again in the dirt and Olsen Again, doing a good job of scooping it on up. And the count has now run full. <laughs> full count. Perez taking his time, digging in. The payoff pitch. That one shot up the middle, another base hit. Being waved around to score is Hermson. Here's the throw. It's gonna be let through, and the Rattlers now lead by two. In sliding safely is Perez as he'll take the bag on the throw. An RBI single for AJ, and now eight unanswered for the Rattlers. It just keeps going on and on. The Rattlers rising to the occasion yet again. And now Derek Hamilton will step to the plate. Had a sack fly the last time he was up and also had a double earlier in the ball game. That first one just misses, 1-0. That sack fly was two feet away from being a home run. Hamilton all in all, one for two on the day. And now up in the count, one and oh. Another runner in scoring position for the Rattlers. That one, oh, it gets through. Moving up to third base will be Perez. As that one scooted through the five hole, also not able to get anything on it. Derek, up 2-0 on the count. Matt Smith waits on deck. Chance to add even more. That one hit foul towards that third baseline. Two and one now as Derek just timing it on up. Bex comes set. The delivery. That one gets by as well. And coming in and crossing the plate is Perez. It's now nine to six for the Rattlers. They keep putting them up in bunches. Three one the count for Hamilton. Beck's two straight wild pitches. Called strike there and it now runs full. A three run advantage for the Rattlers. Fouled back. We'll have to do three and two again. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit 
Shallow center, it'll fall, another base hit. Number 12, an even dozen for St. Mary's as a team and number two for Hamilton as an individual. Third baseman, Matt Smith. And now Matt Smith will be coming to the plate. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Reached on a walk and scored a run. Two very different games being played between here and the first one. Smith, this one hit high into the air. Coming on and making the call is Mayo. And that will do it for the inning. Along bottom of the sixth, the Rattlers put up four runs on four hits. They leave one on base. And the Rattlers now lead it nine to six. A chance to close it out here in the top of the seventh on the Rattler Network. And welcome back, Rattler fans. Top of the seventh, about to get underway. Connor Camacho out there on the mound for the Rattlers. A 4.85 ERA on the year, a 1-0 win-loss record. He's had nine appearances and has one save. In 13 innings pitched, he has 12 strikeouts versus eight base on balls. But earlier today, he inherited a tough situation. Two runners aboard, none out. He was able to wiggle his way on out of it as he came in during that pitching change. And now he'll be asked to come on once again and record the last three outs here for the Rattlers. It's going to be Hermanson, Whitaker, and Olsen do up for the Hilltoppers. That first pitch a bit high and tight. That one, second one, deposited into right field. A leadoff single there for Hermanson. Gable now here comes Whitaker to the plate. Whitaker, he's one for three today. He had that grand slam home run that was way back in the third inning. <clears throat> Felt like a completely different ball game based on the production that we've seen out of both these teams. First pitch, well outside, 1-0. Camacho glance over to first. Here's the delivery. Trying to get that outside corner. Didn't get the call. 2 0. Oh. <coughs> Rattlers a chance to snag back to back games and really start to put a little bit of distance between them and the Hilltoppers in the Heartland Conference. It would be a two game difference, but with how closely these two teams have been battling back and forth. 
That seems like a, a, a decent cushion. That pitch, belt high, called strike one. Two and one now. Camacho looked to, look to first. The two one. Another called strike, two and two now. It's Connor, he's managed to battle his way back. Camacho comes set. The 2-2. Two, two. Bounced it in, but Funk, good job knocking it down. Try to go to some off-speed stuff right there, but the count now full. There is another arm warming up in the pin for the Rattlers, just in case. Again, this game, seven innings, because the first one went into extras. The 3-2. And it missed. So ball four issued, two Hilltoppers have come up and two Hilltoppers Thank are you. now aboard. Joseph Olson. Joseph Olson due up. He's one for three so far today. Had a single his last time up. And already, looks like skipper Charlie Meagle heading out to the mound. He had a short leash with Sepulveda earlier on. Looks like he might be doing something similar here with Camacho. And yes, indeed, he will. So that'll do it on the game for Camacho. And now we'll see a new pitcher coming out. Meagle taking this game very seriously and for good reasons. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we return here on the Rattler Network. And welcome back, Rattler fans. Cole Hebner, he's going to be the new face on the mound for your Rattlers. Hebner, so far on the year, he has a 4.91 ERA, a 0-1 win-loss record. He's converted one save on the season so far for St. Mary's, eight appearances total. And 18 and a thirds innings pitch, he has 13 strikeouts versus seven base on balls. A quick check in on softball. They currently lead seven to nothing. That's in the bottom of the fifth inning. Again, if you want to check in on that one, that's on Rattler Network too. So open up two screens or watch this one and then head over to watch some softball right after. But right now it's going to be Cole Hebner and the Rattlers three outs away from taking both of the doubleheader ball games here today. It's going to be Joseph Olsen at the plate trying to prevent that for the Hilltoppers. Olsen, he's one for three so far on today's game. Two Hilltoppers already aboard, and Hebner already something he uh, wants to discuss with Funk. Probably just making sure that uh, since there's a man on second base that there's going to be an indicator in Funk giving the signs. Two men aboard, P 
potentially the tying run at the plate for the Hilltoppers. Hebner. That one dealt in there. Called strike number one. Getting ahead in these counts can be crucial. It allows you to set yourself up. Hebner taking his time out there. Look to second. No huge leads here. And another called strike right there. 0-2. It wouldn't make sense for the Hilltoppers runners to try to steal bases because those runs would be insignificant if they cross the plate. They need to get at least one more base runner on before they even consider doing something like that. The 0-2. This one hit well towards left. Going back on it is Marler. Oh, and he couldn't make the play. Runners will move up one base apiece. And the bases are now full of Hilltoppers. Tough break there from Marler. I thought he had it, but couldn't come up with it. First error committed on the day by St. Mary's. Here comes Arrowwood now. He's one for three, has a single. Tension really starting to pick up. Rattler infield, they'll play at regular depth. Not concerned with cutting down the run. Although I'm sure if it's hit hard to them, they'll try to turn a double play through the catcher. One out of the count. Hebner deals. Swung through. That evens up the count at one apiece. Hebner looking in. And now he'll step off. Keith getting a little chalk on his hand, just that extra grip. 1-1, one, one, fouled back. Now Hebner ahead, 1-2. and two. Mayo waits on deck for the Hilltoppers. Cole steps back on the rubber. Couple of arms still warming in that Rattler pin. They're going to pull out all the stops here. One, two, swung through. That'll be out number one. Arrowwood goes down on strikes for the second time this game. Second baseman, Kevin Mayo. Now here comes Mayo to the plate. He's 0 for 3. A strikeout and two flyouts. <coughs> Beg your pardon. Hebner, he'll step off. If you're a Rattler fan, you'd really like a ground ball towards second or short. First one swung through. 0-1-1 the count. Hebner starting to pick up some momentum here. Ebner comes set, check to second. Another one swung through. Cole starting to get it. Rattler fans clapping, cheering, standing. Owen to the count. If you're Cole, I think you stay aggressive here. The 0 2. Got him swinging. And now the Rattlers one out away from taking both games on the day.
Pinch runner coming into the game. Three catching, please. Pinch running at first base for Olsen, number 19, Kelsey Dancer. Kelsey Dancer is going to be the pinch runner for Olsen. Shortstop, Wesley Harris. It's going to be Harris at the plate. Harris, he's one for three today. Came around, scored a run. Heavener, check to second, check again. First pitch called, strike number one. Heavener is dealing. Cole ahead in the count yet again. 0-2 now. And the Hilltoppers, who once led this game 6 to nothing, are now down to their last strike. Cole looking in long and hard. Bases full of toppers. The 0-2. Fouled off. We'll do it again. Even her new ball in hand. Step back on that rubber. Here's the 0-2. Just out of the zone, one and two. Can tell this Rattler crowd ready to explode. <laughs> Even her looking in. The one two to Harris. Popped up. High in the air. It's going to be Jones. He has it. And that'll do it. The Rattlers complete the two game sweep here today. A good outing for them as they now lead the Heartland Conference standings by two games. A game they once trailed by six, they come back to win by three. Gardner, he's going to be the winner pitcher on the day. He picks up win number eight on the year. He's now eight and two. And then the loss is going to go to White Knight of St. Edwards University. White Knight falls to two and one on the year. Heemir Hill also pick up his second save. Well, a good day for the Rattlers, a full one to say the least. We saw extra innings in the first one with a pitching duel. The second one, we saw the bats come alive on both sides. But it is the Rattlers coming out on top in both games. Reminder to you, Rattler fans, 1 o'clock tomorrow, we're going to have the third game of this series. St. Mary's, they'll be going for the sweep. St. Ed's, they'll be going for some redemption and to try to fight their way back. St. Mary's winning this one 9-6. They improved to 28-7 and on the year, 15-2 in Heartland Conference play. St. Edwards, they fall to 27-10 and on the year, 13-4 and in Heartland Conference play. Well, that's going to do it for us here on the Rattler Network. Again, go on ahead, flip it over to Rattler Network 2, check out some softball action as well. But until then, we'll see you tomorrow for the Rattler Network. I'm Joe Rodriguez, and as always, take care, everyone.